No, I, I just I just want to say I think the separation happened with Ice Cube and then the um then the Fox the Fox Soul thing. I think that's where like like the I would I would I would say historians 20, 20 50 years from now will say the separation happened there. Right? Because I just think Will this exacerbate it? Yeah, but I mean, it's just going to be this. It's going to be the same old, same old. You know, I don't like ha- them having a bank. Is is it's to the, for them is is great, right? Because now they can start sponsoring female-led businesses by AKAs. They can start helping women to get uh home loans at, at better interest rates. They can come out of the bondage of 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 interest rate and financial enslavement. So I mean from from their perspective it's it's really good, right? Because at the end of the day she you know she's not trying to marry us anyway. And now that she has her own individual institutional finances, right? I mean is it's going to it's going to be a real fuck you, right? It's going to be a, it's going to be how it's going to be how I really want to talk to you about but is that going to be negative? <laughs> not so much because she's telling you "fuck you" anyway. She's never not saying "fuck you," right? I mean, look at Michelle Obama. She can't go two days without fucking telling her husband "fuck you." Uh, no, I, I'm. <laughs> I totally I mean, get what I'm you're wrong. saying. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? I mean, she she makes it a point. She look. This bitch can go and talk about milk and, and somehow, some way, hey kids, drink milk, it's good for calcium. By the way, Obama ain't shit. Right? Somehow she'll find a way. Uh, I, hey, I, I can't say you wrong because uh <laughs> Michelle know how to talk that talk. I just say that. <laughs> Michelle know how to talk that talk. But when she does it, it ain't that great for Obama. It ain't that great. It's a good thing other people believe in Barack. Because yeah. I don't know. Because <laughs> if Barack had to depend yeah. on Michelle believing him, he'd be in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, but, but, but the one thing I'm going to say, at least we know Obama didn't do no shady shit. Because if he did, man, <laughs> Michelle would have rat his ass out with the motherfucking quickness. <laughs> Right, you think y'all think Trump be having it in court? <laughs> yeah, shit, shit. Man, Obama fucked up in the office. Shit, <laughs> Trump who? But <clears throat> yeah, sh- shout out to No Place Holder though. He says we know they're not coming back. Not eighty five percent of of uh, black men. No, what? And uh, I mean, uh, he probably meant to say black women because he said they're not coming back. Y'all, the question is, who wants them to come back? And and, and uh, my thing is, you can't fix nothing with old people that ain't trying to do nothing. That's always been my message. You, you, yeah. So I know people are like, well, you, you want to come back? Come back for what? You know what I'm saying? I I say it. I'm gonna cons- say it again. Um, this is more of a selfless show than a selfish show. This is for people to start really getting some real understanding. And it's about what we're going to promote to our children and our grandchildren so they can have a, a bad community that we didn't get. That's what the thing is. Do you want them to have a better community that, that we didn't get? Because we didn't get it the way we wanted it. You know, but they could if we could start getting people on the right track. But the only way to do that, we got to figure out all the concepts and how to fix all the problems that have been there. Because we see what we didn't get. We do have the, the uh, hindsight of almost 60 years of, of, of a lot of bad decision making. So so use the hindsight to our, we should be using the hindsight to our advantage. And truth be told, the black women starting up a credit union should be something that, you know, I mean, honestly, it should be something that should be celebrated, period. Because it's like, okay, yeah, they doing their thing. They finna do this, they finna do that. It's gonna make some, some better things for the community happen. That's what should be, happening but anytime black women do something that never seems to come into fruition and and that's just reality at the end of the day when is the last time some black women led organization helped the community do anything never just offhand never not that i know of never 
Never. Yeah. And, and because it's not a common thing, that's why you don't know it. See, there could be something in existence somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, there, there could be some little group somewhere that's doing something. But, of course, we don't even know about it because it's not a normal thing for black women to lead anything. And it actually helped the black community. We That stuff don't happen. Now, have we heard about organizations trying to help other black women? Sure. Have they sometimes included children? Absolutely. But when you start talking about the black community overall, when you talking about men and women, the community as a whole, you come up with nothing because it ain't normal for them to do that. Now, since it ain't normal for them to do that, why would I, at this particular point, expect anything different just because now it's a credit union instead of something else? It's, it's going to be the same old thing. Okay? The, the, the people who run the credit union, it's the same black women who are out here in the world doing the stuff that they're doing now. This is It's the same black women. It's not like it's a different group of black women. These are American black women. <laughs> you know, so the MO hasn't yet to change. So why would I expect something different from the same group of women that's been on I'd rather do what a white man says and help a black man? Because oh. I'm hey, sorry, go ahead. Okay. No, 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 no. It's okay. Well, I'm saying in 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 context, how do you have you don't have a group of women that's helping black men now? You got women who are not worthy of marriage. If you're not married to a black man, you're not helping them build family. You're not helping them build business. You're not even supportive of, of a brother who gets a job and just works. You're not supportive of anything. OK, black women have shown that they will go out of their way to mess with unemployed black men. And I'm not even talking about black men who got a bad, uh, uh, you know, like who got a bad shake in life. I'm not talking about like somebody who was arrested for a crime he didn't commit. And then he get out of he get out of prison, you know, <laughs> and then they try to, you know, take him in. They're not even doing stuff like that. They going after niggas who literally commit crimes, get convicted, don't have jobs. Niggas who just won't get up and look for a job and all that type they of stuff. A, they go out of their way a, to mess with those guys. They have you see what I'm saying? Web, they have a dating website for that shit, actually. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard of them. I've heard of it. And, and the, the stuff I found out about... Are, are you talking about the one uh, specifically for dating a man that's in prison? Is that what the one you're talking yeah, about? Yeah the, one, yeah, the one where specifically you can go on there and you can find love through prison. Like they like they got women that's doing that. It's on TikTok. And you and then women show like the guys they, they're dating who's in prison. And but but one good actually, Roger, there is one good thing. I, I got it. I got it, right? Because I was thinking, because you said what is one good thing that's coming out of this? Yesterday we were talking about six figures. Now the pookies can say I'm only fucking six figure women because now they can get credit to make six figures. So there you go. <laughs> so now you're a pookie, you can be fucking a six figure woman. I mean that happens now anyway. Let's keep it but, real. But you can you can get more of it now because they own the bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> but but, but let's be realistic. How how is that going to be good for Pookie? Because Pookie, once he messed with the sister, mm -hmm. however their relationship go, once he stopped messing with the sister, he's still in the same spot. You know, it ain't like yeah. black women putting Pookie on. <laughs> but look, you know, look that's not happening. <laughs> You might instead of an air conditioner, you got central air now, my nigga. So that's the come up. <laughs> right? Shout out to <laughs> Shout out to Matt We Sports. Thank you very much for the super chat. He said, if you support the message, support the creators. Thank you very much for that, brother. Y'all listen, listen to him, listen to him, because he wise, y'all. He's wise. If you support the content, support the creators. Now, um, so yeah, nothing's really gonna happen for Pookie either. <laughs> you know, nah, he you made know in the hot ass <laughs> summer. Now you got central air instead of air condition, right? Where the whole and you, and you got you got heated floors while you taking a dump on on her on her toilet. Come on, man, that's a come up. Shit, 
<laughs> and and, and a boudet to, to, to squirt your ass after you take a dump. I've never had a boudet. Shit. I'm jealous of it. <laughs> okay, so so Pinky, I mean Pookie may get a few uh extra creature comforts. <laughs> yeah. Shit, that shit adds up, especially especially when she comes to your ass out. Right? That shit adds up. But, all right, bitch, go ahead, cuss me out real quick. And, and then let me go in on and watch the, my ESPN and shit on the toilet while my ass get warm. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, progress. Bro. You know, progress. But yeah. <laughs> shout out to No Place Holder. No Place Holder says 85% of black men don't think like we do regarding black women. And, and and no, that is that is true. No place. So a lot of them haven't figured it out yet. But I do believe that this will help some of them figure out what time it is for real. OK, if you know, for the few guys that happen to come across this information, they say, hey, what? They starting up a credit union, but it's really for black women. A few of them might just actually some might you know, the epiphany might happen. But truth be told, most brothers are going to say, hey, this is a great thing because black men have always been pro-black women. We've never had a time period where we've not been pro-black women. You know, just let's just keep it real. So it's not like they're going to look at this and say, this is a terrible thing. And truth be told, they shouldn't be looking at it like it's a terrible thing. It shouldn't even be a terrible thing. It's only because of the way black women are going to operate that this would even have negative connotations to it. You know, if they were just regular, decent people, there would be nothing negative to say at all. Think about that, y'all. If black women were just regular, decent people, this would be a good thing because it would help the black community as a whole. But it's only because we're talking specifically about black women would this have negative connotations to it. If, if that were not the case, how could this be a negative thing? Think about it. That's not, now, that's not something good to be able to say. It, it really is. But go ahead, Mingo, uh, Jess. How you me, doing, brother? Let me, let me say something really quickly before I I'll let I, I want to agree with that point, Roger. That the problem with black women, they love to weaponize shit. They love to weaponize shit against black men. So that's why that's why it it, it can be seen as like a perceived threat because they weaponize their education against us. They weaponize their imaginary six-figure corporate jobs that they get against us. They love weaponizing shit against black men, whether it's true or not. Even the fictitious shit they weaponize against us. Well, I thought that's funny you should say that, but why do you think that is? Well, before, before you say that, shout out to Jonathan Fields. Thank you very much for the super sticker, my brother. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. All right, go ahead, Mingle. But uh, hot sauce. Since you said that, why do you think that is? Because they hate black men. They practice white supremacy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, all I'm saying is this. Well, I mean, either I mean, either way you look at it, regardless of what well, I mean, you know, whether black women hate white, uh, black women hate black men, or black men hate black women. I don't think. Black, I don't think black women hate black men. I think that's how they design. I think that's how they program to think. Just like how black people are programmed to think a certain way in today's society. That's what I believe. I think it's more of a program type thing, type thing than black women just hating black men and that's it. But I don't think it's the way. I think what, it's what, set up that way. But, but no, no, what, I'm, what, what I'm saying is, the it, 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 the it, 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 hold on, if hold you're on. programmed Man, to do something, let me, let and if you're thinking question. that way, it, that's two different Man, things. Mingle, mingle, mingle. Let me ask you the question before you try to answer. Let me ask you. <laughs> and what's the difference in being programmed to quote unquote hate somebody and just plain on hating somebody? Because in, in both of those scenarios, you still got to hating somebody. Yeah, but the difference is you. The difference is somebody may be projecting what they think off on you to make you think a certain way. That's the difference. If I hate you, that means I'm hating you for my personal reason. But if somebody I'm not programming me to hate projection. you, I'm, I'm not asking about projection. You just ask me what's the difference. But you answered a different question. You asked. You answered the question you about projection. What's the difference? But you didn't answer that question that I asked you. You can start answering about somebody projecting. I'm not asking you about somebody projecting. No, I'm saying no, what that's what it is, is bro. No, 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 brother. I'm making a very clear question. What is the difference between somebody just hating somebody 
or somebody being programmed to hate somebody. Because at and the, the end of the day, is, both of them equals hating somebody. Okay, I get that. It does equals hating somebody, but the difference is when, when I'm programming you to do something, that means I'm projecting what I think off on you to, to make you feel the way you, to make you hate, what I, to make you hate that person versus me hating you, just, just hating you. I just hate you. Like, I got my personal reasons maybe of why I hate you. You know, see, I, I think it's more of a, uh, pro, of a uh, it's more of a um, programming type thing, which means that the, the uh, government or whoever, they got the black women out here and we, they, they got them set up to where you got to hate the black man. The black man is this. Or the black man ain't going to help you in this situation. The black man going to make you look this type of way. And I think that's where most of the hate come from. Is that type of program or that type of, you know, system? You know, I mean, that's that's how I see it for the most part. You know, I don't think it's just they hate us. I think it's sought up that way, and that's how it comes off. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, but they live. If you live in America, you accept you accept what you want to. Think about but that. You, I, you I, I get that, what and I get that. To. I get that. So if you accept, if you accept somebody trying to program you to hate people that you should see as your own, how is that not your fault? Because if I can, because Roger, if I keep telling you something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, after a while you're gonna start believing it. If I keep on feeding something to you and keep feeding something to you, after a while you're gonna start be like, well, maybe there's some truth in that. If you keep telling me this over and over again, that that so-called work when I was a child to a certain degree, but as I got older and I learned more information, no, I just I look at what the truth is. I don't care what people saying. I look at what the truth is. And that may be and you. The truth. But how many other? But how many other people we got that if somebody tell them something, they go right along with it. And you be asking them like, "Why are you doing that?" That's just the no, way no. they do. That's how they program. I do get that. I do get that. A lot of people are just gonna go right along with it. But my thing is, once you once you've had your 18th birthday, that's your fault. That ain't somebody else's fault. If, if mm. you just gonna go with what anybody tell you, that's on you. So mm. I can't blame. The quote unquote people programming you for accepting what the program is. Because you in the dope. Mm -hmm. If you accept the programming, that's the program you want it to accept. Because everybody don't accept everything. But you Got do it. accept what you want to accept. So if you want to accept that programming, that's your fault. I can't blame that on somebody else. You know, so the thing is, and, and don't get me wrong, brother, I know where you're coming from. You come from the honorable spirit of I want to protect black women. And that's natural to each and every one of us. All of us want to protect black women in some kind of way because that's not just me. who we are as a people. Not me. Okay, maybe not hot sauce. <laughs> uh, but the most black men, we want to protect black women from something. We do. But the only way to really protect somebody, you also got to let them deal with, excuse me, you got to let them deal with the truth. And the truth okay. is, if you accept programming from somebody else who tells you to be against me, you did it because you like it. Yeah. You I, like I that program. I can't protect someone that hates me. I'm sorry. And Mingo Justin, man, I look I love you like a play cousin, but god damn it, man. Just go ahead and get your white woman to call it a life, man. Who cares what they think? Get that white woman. Nah, make some money. Nah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't going down like that in no kind of situation. No, 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 I don't have nothing against white women. I like white women. Hell, I like all people. I don't have nothing wrong with white women, but my black women is just where it's at for me. That's yeah, I just hear you, me. Man. I hear you. Enjoy. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, brother. There's plenty of brothers, even myself included, we've been trying to find some just one decent black woman to, to be with. Well, well, but Jester, unfortunately, I'm, I'm gonna leave you with this. They got a bank now, so you know. You know <laughs> Wait a minute, they got a what now? They got a what now? They got a bank now, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> okay, so, I, 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 okay. Okay, all of my uh, all of my owners, you know, that's what it said. All of my uh, owners, so go find you an AKA and you're and, and you gonna move up. <laughs> but y'all, yeah, y'all, man, y'all, bro. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, if I own a bank, <laughs> I am on 10. You are doing some extra shit for me, and, and black women are way more narcissistic than me. Mm -hmm. So, all I'm saying, bro, 
get, get, Maybe get I should go back. Ready. Get that denim down ready, Maybe, brother. Maybe I should go back and see if that. that. <laughs> yeah, I should go yeah, see if that AK I dropped a while ago is still single. I should. I should. <laughs> 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 way too funny. But <laughs> y'all but, wild, but, man. Y'all tripping, bro. Uh, ready to eat that uh, ass. Shout out to. Yeah, shout out to Passport OG. He said SYSBM, my brother. He, uh, that, he, he said he said um he said your jokes are funny. SYSBM. That's what it means. We the shout. So that's what oh okay okay. Your jokes are funny. We got the the, the bilingual brothers are in the building. The bilingual brothers are in the building. You got the translator right there. <laughs> and, and, and shout out to Dark Man Sixty. He says they are still expecting the program. I mean, there's yeah, they're still accepting the programming. Yep. And, and my thing is that is all by choice when you live in America. Now, other countries you, you may have an argument about what they got to do, but when you're in America, you accept the programming you like. And shout out to Detroit Three Thirteen. He says okay. Roger Fire. So hi, so what 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 what's being said here, brother? You Since we got breathe, here. You're saying breathe, breathe, Roger. Breathe, breathe, Roger. Yeah. Okay. Who she? Who she? All right, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Okay, well, uh Black Crew is here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him the mic. How you doing, brother? Hey Roger, how are you? I hope I'm coming in clear. Um Yes, you are, sir. Coming in very clear. I hope you and the other gentlemen on the panel are doing well. Uh, you know, I have a question because I, I think I I see what you guys were just talking about slightly differently. What? And I'll, I'll attempt to maybe uh, explain my view with a sort of an analogy. Um, you know, if I'm in a, a zombie apocalypse uh, and there's zombies surrounding me and, and are trying to destroy me, Am I really concerned how and why the zombies, the people became zombies? I mean, yeah. does it really matter whether <laughs> black women, uh, why black women do what they do? No. I don't I don't think so. It, it really doesn't matter. The only thing that really matters is the potential effect and the negative impact it has on you regardless of whether it's conscious or subconscious or unconscious or whatever, you know, the, the reasoning behind, <clears throat> you know, what the Alpha Kappa Alpha are doing, uh, whether they're being duped or we presume they're being duped or, or it's willful on their part is, is not really relevant. It's not. The only thing that's really relevant is the effect and the impact of their actions. And so, like, you know, if I'm in an ocean and a shark is trying to eat me, you know, it, it doesn't matter to me why the shark is trying to eat me. <laughs> you know, the shark is following this basic programming, and, and I understand and empathize with that programming, but that don't mean that I empathize with that, with that programming so much that I'm willing to be eaten by that shark. So, so to some degree, I, I think a certain level of indifference towards the motivation of why they do what they do might might be beneficial <laughs> you know it, it, at a certain point it don't matter what why someone is doing something to you that is harmful the only thing that matters is that they're doing something to you that is harmful so th does that maybe provide a, a a helpful perspective on on things for you mingle Mingo, that's a question for you. You there? What happened? What happened? My bad. I'm sorry. I'm bad. Yeah, I, you know, I was just trying to trying to kind of plumb your your perspective on that thing because very often in the, in these discussions, there there things sort of um, digress or detour towards motivations and. You know, at a certain point, motivations is not as important as actions and impact. And so to some degree, you, you got you to gotta look at the results of what's coming out of someone's behavior 
how it's affecting you and what you need to do if it's a negative impact, what you need to do to counteract it, which means that you might have to operate with a degree of um, extreme prejudice, even in some cases in which you might have some actual heart and affection towards the person, people in which you are exhibiting that, that, um, that prejudice. You know, we, we know this, for example, if we're dealing with our children and, and their misbehavior, and we may emotionally feel a certain type of way about punishing them, but we know we must punish them, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, and, and I think when I look at what's going on there and, and with a lot of behavior, of, of, of black women, I think of it uh, to a large extent. I think you have to, we have to position ourselves to punish them in order ultimately to save them. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Right. So I, I hope well, that was helpful. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to uh, jump in real quick and say shout out to Michael Blackman. Appreciate you, my brother. He says, this gentleman is ignoring the fact that an individual has control over decisions they make. It's always something outside of the individual to blame. And so he was speaking to the same thing. And uh, and shout out to all things uh, Nata Jean. All right, she, here come the, the typical stuff, y'all. Here come the typical stuff. She says, Roger can't get a woman. This is why he's poisoning black men minds okay that's what she believes she thinks i can't get a woman so therefore i'm poisoning black men's mind uh <coughs> all Ooh, things that, a gene. that ain't nothing but shame <laughs> guilt insults and the need to feel to be right Ooh, huh. Not, well oh, hold on my, my thing is it's okay all things that a gene, when if we want to get real i can have you i am charismatic enough to present truths to you that you don't even like and you still showing up here. I could get you. You already shown that to me. Okay. <laughs> so I know you want to feel like, hey, it's he's having trouble. Not even am I charismatic enough to get you because you're still listening. And don't get me wrong, I know part of it's because it's the truth, and part of it is because of how great this particular show is. Myself and the other gentlemen that joined the panel, we keep your interest even though you don't like what's being said. I get all that. And I ain't even met you. Yeah, I can have you if I want. It is what it is. Not to mention the fact that if you say I can't get nobody, black women have put on display that they are hoes to such an extent. You can't convince me that any black man can't get them. And you definitely can't convince me any non-black man can't. So no, y'all whole record is just too large to say any dude can't get one of y'all. This is what it is. You may not like that either, but it is the truth. And if you have a problem with being said, how about you tell me where I'm wrong? Because you make a lot of comments and never say where I'm wrong. Figure that out. Then you have a much better argument. Okay? And that's real talk. And I'm just trying to help you. Don't mean I don't love you, sister. Don't mean I don't love you. But but you kind of ridiculous because you just don't like what's being said. But you can't figure out where it's wrong. And that's okay. I appreciate you supporting the channel, though. And I hope that I'm glad that you hit a learn. You may not know that you hit a learn. But I'm glad that you hit a learn. So that's all that's gonna happen. You're gonna learn something. All right. AL, you got the flow, my brother. How you doing? Good morning. How you fellas doing? Uh Black Guru, always a pleasure. Hi South, you know you my dog. He's still down in the chat. Long live here, bitch your life, because you know how we do that. Yay, yay. All right. I'm gonna be short, I'm gonna be brief, I'm gonna be quick, and I'm gonna be respectful because I don't like it, I don't like it. That's all I'm gonna say on that matter. And I'm gonna digress. Because if I say anything else, it's gonna be filled with a bunch of lady cuss words, and I'm just not gonna do it because I am not down with the divine now. I digress. I, I I really don't see how you guys not see this as an impressive move to own the bank. I mean, this is this shit, man. I'm low key a little bit jealous. Shit, I would love to own the bank or a credit union. I mean, this. I mean, guys, come on. I, mean, I think we're taking it a little bit too far. The the the, the there are several other. Uh, Doctor Tia San Johnson noted that there are several other um, 
black fraternities that have similar um, similar institutions. Yeah. Uh, but 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 the difference is those institutions allow 